It was an age of revolution. The death of a Tunisian fruit vendor in 2010 sparked nationwide protests that ousted a president. And as momentum grew, fed by cell phone video and social media uprisings across the Middle East, brought us this. Back then, the internet seemed like a tool of liberation. Today, it's more about control, the prerogative of big business and big government. Think artificial intelligence, big data, and ultra-fast networks. Smartphones in every young person's hands is no longer just a vehicle for popular change. It's a way of putting users onto the grid and productizing them. But here's the thing. Programmers don't have your best interest at heart, so you might want to think twice about handing over your data so willingly. Sure, Facebook's 10-year challenge just might be a harmless meme. No, who are you kidding? There's a pretty good chance it's improving facial recognition algorithms for Facebook. Otherwise, those people should be fired. Google's decision to photograph every street on the planet might help you find that out-of-the-way restaurant. But did they ask permission to photograph your house or your child's school? That's just creepy. The age of revolution has evolved into an age of surveillance. You and I are the new raw materials to be mined.